Pet Show, Ezra Jack Keats. Mm. Do you have any pets? Ooh, prizes, pet show prizes, prizes. Saturday, 11 o'clock. Everyone was talking about the pet show. Look at them all talking. The kids told each other about the pets they would bring. Matt said he would bring his ants. I'm gonna bring my mouse, bragged Roberto. What are you? Gonna bring Archie the cat? Uh huh, said Archie. The next day, they all got ready for the pet show. Where's the cat? Archie called. Anyone seen the cat? Archie and Willie looked in the cat's favorite hangouts while Peter and Susie searched up and down the street. No cat. There's a picture of a cat. Archie's mother came to the window. Where can that cat be? He asked her. You know how independent he is, Archie. You never know when to expect him. But I expect him now. It's time for the pet show. Maybe he's inside somewhere. And Archie ran into the building. Do you see the cat? Oh. After a while, he came to the window. I can't find him. I looked all over the place. You better start without me. Gee, we're sorry, Archie, said Peter. So long, said Susie. They got to the entrance. A lot of people were already there. Just then, Roberto's mouse took off. Willie chased the mouse. Roberto chased Willie. Peter chased Roberto. Susie chased Peter. And the show started. We got a bird and a dog and a mouse. Oh, she's got a fish. Line up with your pets, please, the judges called, and they walked up and down, looking carefully at every pet and asking, how old is your pet, and what is your pet's name? So we've got, what is that, is it like a turtle? A bird, it looks like a parrot, very colorful. The ants, a fish, something small, like a hamster, another bird, and lots of birds. So the dog, mouse, oh, there's the turtle, dog, fish. Where's that darn cat? Oh, it was a frog. She's got a frog. Oh, it's a little puppy. Everyone got a prize for something. There was the noisiest parrot, the handsomest frog, the friendliest fishes, the yellowest canary, the busiest ants, the brightest goldfish, the longest dog, the fastest mouse, the softest puppy, the slowest turtle, and many more. As the last prize was being awarded, someone shouted, Look, here comes Archie! Oh, what do you see right here? Hello, you're just in time, a judge said. What's in that bag? My pet. May I see it, please? As that moment, the cat showed up. Another judge called out a blue ribbon to the nice lady for the cat with the longest whiskers. And before anyone could say anything, he pinned a blue ribbon on the old woman and came back to Archie. 
What kind of pet do you got in that jar? A germ, answered Archie. Hmm. What's your germ's name? Archie thought for a moment. Al, he said. <laughs> the judges whispered to each other. That's very creative. We have germs all over the place. A blue ribbon for Al, the quietest pet in the show, the judges announced. <laughs> okay. As everyone was leaving, the older woman came over to Archie. He's really your cat, isn't he? She said. You should have the ribbon. It's okay, Archie said. You keep it. And he ran to join his friends. They passed the old woman on their way home. Thank you for the ribbon, she called, and Archie smiled. It looks good on you. See you around. See you around, she said. 